Good morning. We, um, we've been spending some time solving one-step equations, and uh, now it's time to uh, kick it up a notch. So today's assignment is called uh, Combining Like Terms and Solving Equations. So in order to do a problem like number one, where it says 7x plus x equals negative 24, we have to first combine these like terms. 7x's and one more x, that's 8x equals negative 24. Once we've combined the like terms, like we've been doing, divide by 8, and we get our x of negative 3. You can always check. 7 times negative 3 is negative 21, plus negative 3 is negative 24. That does check. So, pause the video, combine like terms. Once you've done that, divide the negative 4 by the coefficient and find your value for k. So, when we combine the like terms, negative 3k and 7k got you 4 k. So 4k equals negative 4. Then I said to divide by the coefficient, 4. And we find our k is negative 1. Negative 1. Our check, negative 1 times negative 3 is 3, plus 7 times negative 1 is negative 7. 3 plus negative 7 does in fact, equal negative 4. If you have trouble with the calculations, use your calculator. Number 3, I'll ask you to combine those like terms and then divide by the coefficient of n. Number 4, combine the like terms and then you'll have to add 3 to both sides. So we'll ask you to do number three in the Ed puzzle. Number four, let's work that out together. Four plus four, that's going to be eight a. Three or minus three is a constant term. So I cannot combine that. Now I've simplified as much as I can with the variables. If I add three to both sides, I get the 8a being 24, and when I divide by 8, I get an a of 3. I can do the check. 3 times 4, that's 12, minus 3 plus 12. That's 9 plus 12, that does equal 21. When you have subtracting and adding, along with multiplying with your variable, you have to undo that, subtracting or adding first. So we combine the like terms. 7m and 3m is 10m. The rest of it, minus 6 equals negative 6 stays the same. Now I'm ready to add 6 to both sides because I'm going to undo the adding or subtracting first. If 10m is 0, then m is 0. I check. 0 minus 6 plus 0 does equal negative 6. I'm going to let you do number 6 with the add puzzle. You're going to combine 8x with minus 4x, and then you'll subtract 1 from both sides before you divide. Combining minus 2 with minus 3 gets us minus 5, and minus 5 is 1. Add 5 to both sides, and I get an n of 6. So is 6 minus 2 minus 3 more? That's 4 minus 3, that is 1. It checks. I'll have you do number 
8. And the add puzzle. Combine like terms for number 9. 4 minus 2 is 2, so 2m plus 2 is negative 10. Remember, if you're multiplying and adding, we have to undo the multiplying, I'm sorry, the adding first. When I subtract 2 from negative 10, I get negative 12, and that's going to be equal to 2m. Divide both sides by 2, and maybe I don't have to write that down anymore. Maybe you can do that in your head. I think my answer is negative 6. Negative 6 times 2 is negative 12. Negative 12 plus 4 is negative 8. Minus 2 is negative 10. It does check. So, careful. When I go 6 plus 2 and get 8 minus 8, n equals minus 8. When I subtract that 8, I will get minus 8n equals minus 16. Careful. Make sure you bring that minus in front of the 8 down. When I solve by dividing, I'll get an n of 2. So 6 minus 8 times 2, 16 plus 2. 6 minus 16 is negative 10, plus 2 is negative 8. So it checks. When we do number 11, anytime we have parentheses, you're going to want to see if you can divide first. So if I can divide both sides by 4 and get 8 minus 8x equals negative 40, that's a much simpler problem. It's very much like we just did finishing up number 10. Subtract 8 from both sides. And our minus number, minus 8x, will equal negative 48. Divide by negative 8 to get our answer of 6. So you're going to divide by negative 3, and then you'll add, nope, we already got a plus 2. You'll subtract 2 before dividing by 4. I'd like you to try that on the add puzzle, and we'll see how you do. See you tomorrow.